How to use QuizGecko AI. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use QuizGecko AI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly type quizgecko.com. Or you can simply type on Google QuizGecko and just click the first link that come up. And you will be directed on this page. And it's from here, it will show you the other details and information about this platform. Since QuizGecko is a powerful AI-powered quiz generator that allows users to generate unique and interesting quizzes from any text or URL in just seconds, in which it is highly recommended for business, educators, and students. It is suitable for use with text content such as books, articles, documents, websites, and even technical documentation, in which using this platform, you can make or create a quizzes instantly. And aside from making quizzes and flashcards with simple prompts, using this platform, you can also make questions in different forms like multiple choice, true or false, and fill in the blank by just pasting text or entering URL or by manually typing the question. And if you have any other question, just proceed on this frequently asked question below, in which from here, you will see the question and the answer below of some of the possible issues that you may experience. Now, in order to create an account in QuizGecko, just click the sign up button, which is located on the top right corner. And after successfully creating an account, you can now proceed by clicking the login button. And after that, you will be directed on this page in which you will also see other details about this platform below. But in order to create a quiz in QuizGecko, you can proceed by clicking Create a Quiz button, which is located on the top right corner, or by clicking below here. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. In which from here, in order to create a quiz, you need to select your sources, such as text, topic, URL, uploads, or manual in order to generate question form from any of those sources. While below option, you can also customize the question type, the language, the difficulty, and the max number of questions. And for the given example above, let's try Battle of Hastings. And upon clicking on it, you will see below here the text about the Battle of Hastings. And in order to customize the question type, kindly click on it, and you need to select either true or false, fill in the blank, or multiple choice. While under the language, it will show you the different kind of language, including English, Filipino, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and many more. While under the difficulty, you can choose either easy, medium, and hard. While under the max questions, the maximum of question that you can select is either auto, one, two, and three. Since for and above question, you need to upgrade your account. And now that we set our preferences, we can now proceed by clicking or generating a quiz. But before that, you can also navigate the topic section in which by clicking on it, it will show you that you can either enter the topic data in order to generate a question for quiz. In which by entering the topic, they will search the web for reliable sources for very specific topic that you enter. And aside from those data sources, we have also the URL, in which below here, you can also paste the links or URL, including Wikipedia and many more. But make sure that the URL that you enter can publicly accessible. While under the upload section, you need to have a premium account in order to upload or import from your computer files to this platform. You can import a PDF, a document, and any other file types that contain a context. Well, for the last data sources option, we have the manual option, in which from here, you can manually type your question and the list of answer with its corresponding correct answer. And you can choose either multiple choice, true or false, or even identification. And after creating a question and answer, you can also add a question or answer by clicking the button below in which using this option, you can manually check or create a question that you prefer. But in those options, I'm going to choose the text as data 
sources, including a quiz in Quiz Gecko, in which we have now the details and the preferences. So just proceed by clicking the Generate button below, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you on the right side that your quiz is now generated. All you need to do is to wait for it to analyze your text. And after that, it will show you that your quiz is now being generated. And as you can see, it formed one question in which the question type is fill in the blank. But as you can see here, the question is kind of messy. So below that, let's just reveal the answer. And as you can see, the answer is the battle of Hastings. However, the question above is contained of three questions, which indicate number one, two, and three. So once again, let's add another question. So in the left side panel, let's customize the question type, and I'm going to choose multiple choice. And after clicking the generate button, it will show us on the right side panel the question that has been added with multiple choices. So let's try to answer any of those questions by selecting the choices. So you can try and try and selecting the choices until you find the correct answer in here. And if you select the correct answer, it will show you the sources of why is it the correct answer. And you can also do the same process with other question below. But if you want to add other question to your quiz with different question type, so just do the same process which is on the left side panel. So under the question type, just select, let's say I'm going to choose true or false type and proceed by clicking generate button, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you the result on the right side panel. And if you scroll down below, it will show you the true or false question type. You can try to select the answer in order to know the correct answer. And if you are now satisfied with all of these questions in your quiz, just proceed by clicking the preview button, which is located on the top right corner. And after that, you will be directed on this page, in which from here, you can either choose whether quiz or flashcard option. And below that, you will see all of the questions in your quizzes. But the answer or choices is not visible below. You can also find the description of this quizzes. Now let's try the flashcard option. And upon clicking on it, it will show you the flashcard with your question. And if you click on it, it will reveal the correct answer behind that flashcard. And after that, you can proceed on the next question by clicking this button. And same process in order to get the correct answer, which is by simply clicking this flashcard. Now going back to the other option is the quiz option. And to begin with, you need to answer the question by typing your answer below. But it depends if the question type is fill in the blank, multiple choice, or even true or false. And now that we try the preview quiz, we can now go back to our library. So just click my library, and from here, you will see the quizzes that you just create, in which you can also share its link in order to access by your friends, family, or even employee. But in order to access other feature of this website, just upgrade your account in which it offers two options such as for business and for education. And you can see the list of benefits that you can get with this upgrade plan. So that is just how to use QuizGecko AI. Thank you.